Hello, my name is Thomas, Thomas Alts, Winland Change TV. I just finished a two-day workshop here at the client's office in Luxembourg. I will be heading to Frankfurt in a moment, three hours drive, but that's okay. Um, I wanted to share a little bit about the topic of this week, sales development. This is a video log, hopefully it's helpful to you. Why do we call this area of our expertise sales development? We could say that we also do sales training, but sales development is more. It's a journey. It takes a team from here to there and it's a committed journey and it has more impact. So what was interesting is there's one case study that I could share with you that was personally involved in. Several years back it was a company in the Nordic region of Europe and they were producing dairy products, cheese products, various cheeses. And the sales team of Germany, 36 people, sold those products into supermarkets, food stores. And the company, of course, needed to raise the bar, hit higher sales targets. And also the challenge was that they needed to hit the higher targets with less people. So the old concept of we want more for less. Um, but this is sometimes what the times require. The competition doesn't sleep either. So at this particular uh, team, there were 36 salespeople and they were turning over 2,500 tons of product per annum. And what the benchmark was, they needed to be, wanted to be at 3,500 tons, 3,500 tons turnover and team reduction down to 24, which is not little. Now why team reduction? Some of the team players were, went into early retirement. Some wanted to work in other parts of the business, in other countries, in other regions. Um, some were not the right people in the team, or as we say, the right people on the bus. They had to leave. So that was basically the target. Now, how did we get there? Um, first of all, what's very important is we need the full support of the sales director and the team that we are basically are on a joint journey that we work together very intensively for more than a year, ideally 12 to 18 months. In this case, it was one year. Yeah? So how did we do this? We had a kickoff event where we basically looked at what is happening at the moment with the team. We did some interviews before to find out how the individuals think, act, what they do. We had a kickoff event with our findings. This is the status quo. We very clearly defined the goal. Where do we need to be and why? How can we do this in spite of reducing one third of the team? How can we top from two and a half thousand to three and a half thousand tons? How can this be done? And already at the workshop, we had to also work on the belief level. Some people believed it may be possible. Some were convinced it was. Others said there's no way. So if you don't align the belief level in the group, you don't stand much of a chance to get there. We then mapped out several milestones on the way and also um, further team building workshops where we would meet again, sales team meetings. In this case, every quarter, every three months, every three months, the sales team would join as a group, look where we are and try to improve. And then various recipes kick in. Recipes, what I call around the topic of best practice. We really look at what are our resources in the team? Who is already hitting target? If everyone would be as strong as a performer as that or that individual, he or she, what would that mean for the team? And if we find people that are really strong, what do they do better? So it has to do with communication loops, open and honest feedback, best practice sharing. The people need to let down their defenses. They need to be willing to share their best practices. So we work on the communication level, we work on the performance level, and we really look at what is working. And we celebrate successes on the way. Every milestone that we achieve, we ticked off. Um, the other important thing is that Everyone is really committed. So the belief level, the commitment, and the momentum. And we work on those three areas and build it up. It is interesting. It is challenging. I'm not saying it works every time. In this case, it did work. We overshot. We went to 3,800 tons in the end. 
and we had a big celebration and it was a good story. So naturally, based on this case studies, then other doors open within the company. Um, what I can only invite you to, have a look at your current performance, look at what might be possible, look at the best practices within your teams and just imagine you had um, an external supplier who can manage to roll out best practices throughout the team that everyone really is capable of doing what maybe only 20% of the team are able to do at the moment and then you can get the leverage. I hope that helped a little bit. Um, I hope you stay in touch with our future video logs and I wish you a good evening. Bye bye.